Hi, I'm Greg Vanderstrook and I'm a trombone player and today I wanted to talk with you about setting up a trombone and the basics of starting on the sound. The trombone is made up of three main parts, not equal size, but their main parts. So the first part of the trombone is the bell. And to the bell, we attach the slide. And then we insert what we call the mouthpiece. That's great. So it's, as I say, the three parts. Now, trombone being a wind instrument, it needs, of course, to be blown. And the main way that we play is by buzzing our lips. Great. So it's this buzzing of the lips that we put into the mouthpiece and then through the trombone that helps make the sound. So ideally... You have to have a go. Fantastic. So, the trombone, like other brass instruments, has what we call a series of harmonics. These are like steps that we have to pick out. So, if I give you an example. They're all different steps. We call them harmonics on a brass instrument. Now, what makes the trombone so special and so different from other brass instruments is that we have a slide and we use the slide to change the pitches of the notes. But you've got to be very careful with your slide because if you go too far, it's going to come off. So you've got to be very careful not to let go. So we use the slide to change the position of the slide in order to make different notes. So I'll play that series again and I'll show you in the different positions. We have seven positions on the trombone slide. picking out the right harmonic with the right slide position in order to do that. So that's one of the things we do, but it's very important when we start. To first of all, make sure that we're standing straight, good, with our feet slightly apart, facing forward, and having a slight bend in the knees, just so we're nice and relaxed. Now, what I often see too many students doing is, they do that very well, and then they then bring themselves to the instrument start playing like this. What you need to do is actually stand like you're standing, nice and straight, and we need to bring the instrument to us. Ideally, having the arms out from the body, having the elbows at a sort of four and eight position if we think of a clock, having them out like that. Great. That will be a lot easier to play, and also it stops a lot of tension, particularly in the upper chest area and stuff when we come to play. So really important. Big thing then is, of course, to breathe in. So breathe in always with a warmth, what I call with a wet breath. Breathe out with a wet breath, breathe in the opposite way. Like you're fogging up a mirror or it's a cold day outside. So we get that nice wet breath. So we breathe in. then of course once we play the note is to keep the air going. If you were to sing a note you just wouldn't say la but you go la you sustain the note. Same with us with the trombone. Once we play the note you've got to keep the air going. So if I do this to start with you can hear how I'm still using air straight through after I've tongued the note. Your turn. Good. Now, I'd like you to 
tongue the note and keep the note going. Good. So the idea is to keep the air moving because at the end of the day it is a wind instrument and we need to keep the air moving through the instrument. So the other thing then when it comes to the trombone, it's very important to hold the instrument, in this case as you're doing, with your hands around the braces, finger nicely on the mouthpiece, and if you have a trigger, have your finger on the trigger like you're doing, very good. So, but it's also very important when you hold the slide, to hold the slide lightly. So, too often I see people really hanging onto the slide and doing things like this. And if you're really hanging onto the slide, what makes it hard, it makes it very hard to move the slide efficiently or smoothly. It makes it very hard to move. When we're holding the slide, you only need to hold it with two or three fingers. The thumb on this side of the slide and either one finger or two fingers on the brace. Very, very lightly. The thumb pushes the slide forward and the finger acts as a brace, as a brake. And then when we come in, we the opposite. This pushes the slide in and this can add act as a brake. So so we have nice, fluid, easy movement. So the important things when we're starting to put the trombone together, make sure we put the slide into the bell section. Try and make sure that we have what's called a right angle, so that the slide and the bell are very much a right angle. We don't want to have it too um, too differently that it's like that. We end up with troubles coming and hitting the bell and things like that. It's also better to hold when it's more of a right angle. Okay, once again, our slide with our hand around the brace. As we do, finger on the mouthpiece, holding the slide very lightly. Remember to stand relaxed, slight bend in the knees, bring the instrument to us. Remember, the lips are our most important point. That's the vibration, that's the sound source. Into the mouthpiece. To make the sound. Okay, I hope that helps you today and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.